How's it going? It's all the news all the time. And uh, I thought I'd look at uh, some interesting older stories today. Um, something interesting, something out of the, uh, the left hand uh, pocket, as it were. And uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. And uh, if you'd like to press the old subscribe button so you don't miss any of these videos, that'd be fantastic. So we got this uh, story coming out uh, a while ago in May of a man in a wig was detained after throwing a piece of cake at the Mona Lisa. I mean, why? What's what she done to you? I mean, she hasn't. I mean, leave her alone, man. So a man who seems to have been disguised as an old woman in a wheelchair. Okay, okay. Threw a piece of cake at the Mona Lisa in Paris. Um, why? Video posted on social media shows security guards at the Louvre Museum escorting the man away Sunday as he spoke in French about the planet. Think of the earth, he said. There are people who are destroying the earth. Think about it. Artists tell you. Think of the earth. That's why I did this, he says, according to the Associated Press. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what that's got to do with Mona Lisa. Another video shows someone clearing the cake off the glass, protecting the Mona Lisa, as onlookers hold up their phones to film the incident aftermath. So we've got a little video here. Let's have a little look. See, see what's occurring. No way. <laughs> right. Um, it seems to be this guy. Uh -huh. Okay, um, yeah, tricky, tricky French. Um, so yeah, so we've got this guy and he's, uh, he's putting cake on the old uh, Mona Lisa. <laughs> and uh, I mean, the French are not stupid. That's got bulletproof glass in front of it. And that's why you can just wipe it off. If it was actually on the canvas, you couldn't, you couldn't wipe it. You would have to go and get uh, this guy, the uh, Baumgartner Restoration, this guy. If you've seen any of these videos on YouTube, you should check this guy out. He is amazing. Uh, if you want something like this restored to its former glory, this is the guy. Uh, you would need someone like him to, uh, to fix it if that was the situation. From what I hear, um, I've been to the Louvre once um, and I didn't go down to this bit, but from what I hear, the Mona Lisa is tiny and you're always surrounded by loads of people so you can never get a proper look at it. So uh, I'm not sure if it's worth the hassle. Also, don't go to the Louvre on Tuesdays because it's closed. Gee, that was so annoying. Uh, <laughs> that really was so annoying. I was, oh my God, I was so annoyed. Anyway, uh, what else is going on in the world today? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I was like, what is... Th so thousands of uh, these uh, fish wa <laughs> wash up on a California beach. Um, this this person saying, I had no idea what they might be. <laughs> really? It went on for two miles. Two, mi oh, <laughs> two miles. I walked for another half an hour and they were scattered everywhere. He says, my God, what's going on here? Uh, they call it, they're called fat innkeeper worms. Uh, they're found in Bodega Bay. Well, well, I've never seen such a thing. Whether it's mystifying sea creatures or disturbing amounts of pollutants, astounding objects wash up on the beaches around the world time and time again. In the case of California's Drake's Beach, I think a place to be avoided, to be honest, the latest surprise was thousands upon thousands of what have been described as... <laughs> Uh, okay, um, and they indeed look as advertised. Jesus. According to Newsweek, the animals in question are officially called fat innkeeper worms. Is that much better? An ocean dwelling spoon worm. Oh, why is it a spoon worm? Measuring about one foot long. Eight, hey, ladies. <laughs> uh, that's commonly found in the shallow waters along the western coast of North America. Well, there you go. 
as for why this enormous batch of phallic critters and they're not critters i always thought critters have got six legs and uh, like cockroaches or something um but okay landed on california shores this particular week one expert believes the recent storm ah, it's always storms in the region was to blame ivan parr is that a euphemism a biologist at the western section of the wildlife society uh, explained that these creatures typically dwell underwater and burrow into the sand until aggressive weather <laughs> takes them up to shore. Well, <laughs> so you've got these. Uh, oh, you can, look at this. This is just this is discombobulating for sure. I mean, so some, <laughs> some seagulls were eating so many of them they could barely stand. Uh, yeah, they could. Uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, so moving on, moving swiftly on. Uh, or we could learn more if you wanted, but no, moving swiftly on. A uh, woman wakes up to find she can't hear men, but she can still <laughs> she can still hear women. Brilliant! I can hear all the women. I can't actually hear all like ironically, but uh, all the women be overjoyed by this. Uh, they <laughs> can't hear men. She was able to hear me when I spoke to her, but when a young male patient walked in, she couldn't hear him at all. Brilliant. So she woke up one morning unable to hear her boyfriend's voice. Then she found she couldn't hear any men at all, but could still hear women. Well, if that's that's got to be a yeah, that's got to be a plot for a movie. That is. Uh, what was that one with uh, Mel Gibson? He hears the internal thoughts of women, and there was a male version, a newer one. Um, anyway, it may sound like the hokey pot of a plot of some high concept movie. But for one woman in China, it was all too real. A woman, a woman from the east coast city of Xiamen recently awoke to find she couldn't hear any male voices, including that of her boyfriend. Or maybe she just said she can't hear them because she just doesn't want to anymore, while still being able to hear female voices, according to the Daily Mail. So the woman, identified only as Chen, had experienced ringing in her ears, tinnitus as well as nausea the night before but things only got worse the following morning dun, 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 when she couldn't hear her boyfriend's voice uh, things only grew stranger when she was then rushed to a local hospital and found she could hear the voice of a female specialist dr lin xiao ching but still couldn't hear other male voices she was able to hear me when i spoke to her but when a young male patient walked in she couldn't hear him at all the doctor says uh doctor said and here we have a cutaway section of the human ear with the uh, ear canal and the eardrum and these little weird ring things these are interesting the way they've got a liquid with hairs inside and they're placed opposite each other in so if your head moves sideways the hair follicles move with the liquid and you can change your balance i think these are really clever um whoever designed them very impressive um so there you go there's uh <laughs> there's a uh, women's uh, best thing ever uh, she can't hear men fantastic we've got <laughs> that made me laugh so much we've got these things we've got this random guy dressed in a wig uh putting cakes on the mona lisa what else we got uh we've got this thing i was like what is this thing okay so i've got to draw a star in under 20 seconds and hopefully the computer will be able to um oh was... i know it's star oh, yeah see it's a pentangle draw a hedgehog hedgehog oh tricky um what do they look like i see line watch here wait or bench wait or garden hose uh, it's... Or I. Oh, my... oh i know it's hedgehog oh so good all right toaster um what's the taste to look like i see line oh my why did i do or a seesaw drawing like that or eraser How do I or sandwich right in there or computer keyboard i know it looks like a computer i keyboard. see couch need a cable or newspaper need a dial or speedboat i don't it's not a speedboat what are you talking about speedboat no toast is tricky Sorry, i couldn't guess it bread uh, all right well one more go on bread um which, i see mountain um, or eraser yeah, I'm not. Or toothpaste. <laughs> or marker. It's not toothpaste. I see sandwich. Um. Or toaster. Or suitcase. Is that cheating? Probably. Or cooler. I see laptop. <laughs> or piano. Or necklace. Sorry, I couldn't guess it. Well, there you go. So if you were uh, fancy going on that, that's called uh, quick draw with Google. So you can draw things. And if you are better than me, the computer will recognize what you've drawn. And uh, I find it quite actually quite interesting. So what else we got? Uh, we got a uh, website where you just throw cats around, uh, <laughs> and you can press that up here and you get loads of cats. Uh, catch the cat and throw the cat. Uh, what else have we got going on? Oh, uh, horoscopes. Yeah, 
So what's uh, Capricorn's horoscope today? You seem to be coating yourself in glue and rolling around in tomato seeds a lot recently. Huh? As well as bringing luck, this could be seen by orangutans <laughs> as a declaration of war. Oh, costly. Avoid playing board games with people with large foreheads. Wise words. Wise words indeed. And, um, yep, going back to the Conservator or Baumgartner, Baumgartner Restoration, I recommend watching his channel. It is probably the best thing I've seen in a long time. If you like watching someone really slowly clean something. Uh, so there you go. And I think that's all we got for you today. I'll uh, probably come back to uh, Johnny Depp News very quickly. And um, if you'd like to press the like button, that'd be good, on the subscribe button. And uh, if you find any other buttons, press those. If you uh, sew buttons, do some sewing. And uh, I will see you guys later.